Okay, what's up everybody? In this video today, I'm going to show you how to get a file, any file with a URL. I'm going to show you how to get your records from your Zoho CRM, find a specific record that you'd like to update, and attach that file to the record. So stay tuned to the end of this video if you'd like to see all that. One thing I'd like to add right off is my Zoho One, my Zoho One Suite full epic training course comes out later this year. If you'd like to pre-enroll to get 50% off, you can do so in the link below. Okay. I also do have a free tier coming out, and that actually does come out next month. So pre-enroll, and I'll send you an email whenever that drops as well. All right. Well, without further ado, let's get right on into it. So first thing we need to do is first find a file to attach. Okay. So I do have the file documentation the Zoho Deluge has published. All I did here was go Zoho Deluge get file. Okay, and this documentation pulled up. I'm just going to go ahead and paste that on in here. So we have our file. Okay, this is going to be just their demo file that they have for different purposes. Okay, so I'm going to specify the variable as my file. And I'm going to comment that out for a second here. Okay, so I first need to find a record I'd like to attach this file to. So I'm going to go ahead and get that Zoho integration drag and drop over here. So let's say I want to get my leads and I want to find a very specific lead in my Zoho CRM. Okay, so services CRM action is going to be the get records. For get records, you need to specify a couple different things here. You need to specify the module. You need to specify the amount of um, the amount of pages you'd like to do. I only have about 20 leads. I believe you can only put up to 10 pages here, but I'm just going to say one, and then you have your per page. Again, I think you can only up to do 200 records per page, So, um, but I only have about 20, so I'm just going to do 25 just to make sure I get them all. Okay, if you're ever wondering, I want to do this with a custom module. You can go to Zoho CRM setup. Okay, you can go over to developer space, APIs, API names, and then you can see all the different API names for your different modules. You can see creator events is my custom module, but I want to get all my leads. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that leads and I want to find a lead by last name. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that API field. I'm going to come back here and then I want to loop through my leads. So this is going to be returned in the form of a list for each lead in my leads. I want to, uh, I just want to, let's just print lead.get, that API name I copied previously. Okay, that looks good there. Let's just print all the last names for all of my leads. Okay, as you see most of these are sample leads or leads I've done for tests, right? Let's say I want to update a lead with the last name Suave, okay? What you need to do is get the ID of that lead, okay? So let's say for each lead of my leads, if lead.get last name, right? It's that API field that I copied previously. And then we'll say dot equals ignore case. We now have our last names available here, but let's do Suave because we got Rico Suave, okay? So if that all equals up, we're gonna come in here, okay? Let's just let's just make sure we actually do get in here, okay? So let's say entered. So I should see instead of all my different lists of leads, entered perfectly, okay? So to get the ID of the record of that module, super super easy. All you have to do is say, well, let's just print it out, okay? So we'll do info .lead .get ID. Couldn't be easier, right? You want an ID? You say, let's get an ID. All right, and we have our ID here. I'll kind of show you how this works too. So if you go over to your leads module in Zoho CRM, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this full screen view just so I could show you how this all works here. You can see if you click on a lead, right? This is not the Suave lead, but if I, this is the ID of the leads, okay? Let's just replace that with the ID we got and we should see our Suave lead. Perfect, Rico Suave, right? Rico Suave's Extraordinary Adventures. All right, that looks great. 
Let's go back to that full screen view. Okay, so we get the ID. How do we use it? Okay, so let's create another variable called my lead ID and let's set it conditionally to null. And then here, we're just going to replace info with this and remove this parentheses. Okay, we're going to uncomment this. So we have our file. We have the right I, we have the correct lead ID right right in here. Now, how do we attach the file? Super super easy. Just grab that Zoho integration, attach file, Zoho.service.crm. We're gonna attach files. That first one that comes up right here for us, right? It's gonna be in leads. Your number ID. Super easy. All you do is just copy. Sorry, not my leads. It's going to be my lead ID. That could have been an issue. Right? You just copy and paste that right on in there. Copy and paste your file variable right on in there. And then let's just print out and see what we get. Okay? Perfect. Looks like it's a success. Before I do this again, I would like to specify your file does need to come in a certain format. Okay? So let's just go ahead and print out my file and see what this looks like. Okay? So you can see it comes in as a PNG. Different for Zoho Deluge only accepts uh, certain formats. So if you're seeing a failure case, but you know your URL is correct, you know your, co your code's correct, and it looks just like mine, then there's going to be an issue with your format. You could go to Zoho Deluge and see what formats they accept. For the most part, they are really good at taking a ton, a ton of different formats. Okay, well, let's go ahead and check out that lead, right? So let's go over down to attachments. We don't see any attachments. Oh no. Okay, it just means we need to refresh, right? <laughs> and we should see that attachment right there. If not, I failed you all, and I'm ashamed of my family. Oh, okay, it looks like no need to be ashamed. Here it is. But that's how you get a file with invoke URL. That's how you get the record. That's how you get the record ID. That's how you attach the file with the record ID. All this information is coming to you absolutely free in my free tier of my course. Again, pre-enroll down below and I'll send you an email when that comes out next month. Thank you so much.